Okay guys, so you guys have seen the little 26 engine I got um, yesterday for my buddy. Thanks again dude, you're awesome. And uh, this is the pipe that was on it. Um, it's a little Chinese pipe, little aluminum deal. Um, doesn't look too bad, I mean it's got a little bit too much header length I think. Bit of a corkscrew effect there. But what I wanted to show you guys, and I, I dug this out of the closet, I was looking for some parts. And uh, I came across this old guy. Um, this pipe here started life as a pocket bike pipe uh, for one of those 49cc jobbies. And it was, well, it was crappy. And, you know, the uh, header part and the output part were the exact same size. So I got creative one day with an acetylene torch and some coat hanger and a little bit of sheet steel and made myself a flange, the uh, header piece here, and then just kind of folded up some steel and made myself a couple little parts here. And welded it all together. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit better. You just can see the difference than that uh, little aluminum pipe for that 26. This pipe actually didn't sound too bad. Like, it sounded okay, but I think this will sound a lot better. Um, funny thing is, this was actually for, uh, I actually built this for a uh, one of those GoPed scooters that had a Mitsubishi 40cc engine on it when I was uh, about 18 years old. And I wanted a little bit more snap out of it, so... I built this pipe, I was looking at it, and I thought, I wonder if it'll fit this engine, and sure enough, it did, fit perfectly, but um, the fun thing is, is I've been working on the one-fifth scale here, I just wired in a kill switch for it, if you look, really, care, really quick here, you can see, move this up a little bit so you guys have a little bit more room, now this pipe would almost fit perfectly on this HPI, isn't that cool? Look at that, almost a perfect fit. Rather than that big baseball bat pipe that's on there. I'm sure that one will be good, but... Yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys for a little bit here. Um, a lot of people have been asking. They want to hear it run with that. Um, well, when I have a way to actually secure this down, and I find a fuel tank um, to attach to this, I will fire it up. I just have to remove the clutch because I don't want the clutch springs flying apart here and damaging the housing here. Um, I will fire it up with this pipe on it so you guys can hear it, and then I'll fire it up with this one on here so you guys can hear it. And I'll rev it up a bunch so you guys can listen to what they both sound like. It's the tip there. It's about the same as that one. So, let's see here. No, roughly about the same. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just thought you guys might find that kind of cool. Anyways, that's all for now. And uh, you guys will see a running video on this soon. The weather has just been horrible. It's been raining like hell here. Um, so I can't fire this up where I live. It's just everyone gets upset. It's too loud. Um, I, I did have it fired once just to test the uh, kill switch. But um, yeah, you guys will see the uh, break-in video on this. And a running video on that guy at a later date. Anyways, guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, cheers. Keep on burning nitro. Or gas. Cheers.